Hello everyone, this is an attempt to explain Langchain in less than 2 minutes. Langchain is a framework that provides you an ability to create applications on top of large language models and in this case Google Cloud large language models. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to run through this quickly and then try to explain it in detail in the next few videos. So Langchain is a framework for developing applications powered by large language models. In order to access TCP's large language models, you are going to authenticate using Google Colab. This function import Vertex AI, use project ID and the US central one. Then you would import libraries like this, wherein you're gonna do import Langchain and the AI platform from Vertex AI Cloud. Next, there are three models that we are going to use, text, chat, and Vertex AI. So this is all coming in from Model Garden, text Python, chat Python, text embedding, echo. Next, you are going to run the examples. This is text Python examples, which is the parent company of Lincoln. This is for the chat. Here you provide a context, you are a nice AI bot that helps users to understand financial stock market. And then when you ask by market cap, what are my top companies, this is gonna respond back the chat model based on the top 10 companies. And then it understands history. In order to run the history, where is the Apple on the list? You would see Apple is the first company on the list. Text embedding model. In the text embedding models, you could convert any text into vector text to embeddings. So in order to come convert this text, you're gonna use this to use embeddings from the vertex AI embeddings. This is the length and this is the text, the the embeddings of this text. In the prompts, Meta is the parent company of Twitter. What is wrong with that statement? So this is using text Python. It says that Meta is the parent company of Facebook, not Twitter. So it's smart enough. Prompt template is an object that helps create prompt based on the combination of user input, static and non-static information. That means if you wanna to travel to a location, what should I see there? So all you're gonna ask is location. So if you get the location from the, from the user, you will be able to run this. So you provide a template, Note that location is in braces. You have prompt template, input variable location. Final prompt Mumbai, final prompt is gonna be using the location Mumbai. Now if I change it to Paris, it is going to give you information with Paris. So you're gonna see Eiffel Tower, Louvre, and the champs else. Now vector store is an storage for vectors. So you would like to ideally convert vector into embeddings and store those embeddings only once. So you're gonna run this. You're gonna use three things, the web-based loader to load the text or load the website. And then you're gonna use the text splitter in order to split. Why to split is in the detailed video, which is, which is available on the same channel. And then you split the documents. You have 10 documents, that means the 10 text this the chunk size is 10 and then you do embeddings using embed and finally you can store the embeddings so with that said i hope this was a quick introduction to langchain and palm thank you for watching